You talking to me? Hey, Charlotte. <laughs> hey. How's it going? It's going well, David. How are you? Good. Very, very well. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking the time. Yes. Yes. So I see your screen here. Awesome. You should be able to see your, your Facebook business page here. I see it. Good, good, good. So tell me, what do you got going on? I, I really just wanted to reach out, introduce myself, and, and just really see if I can bring some value to what you're doing here on social media to build your real estate business. What do you, how do you mean, what am I doing? I mean, you can see the posts and the short videos that I've done so far. Yeah, are, but, you, are uh, you doing anything else? Like as far as like extending that? Like as far as like a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad? Nope, I have not. Okay, because that, that's pretty much the difference. Right now, like you have, you know, let's just call it 100 and something likes on the business page. And 95% of those people live across the country. I'm one of them. Um, and rather than having five views or 11 views or 56 views, you know, if, if this was a, a simple Facebook ad targeting that local area where the open house was at, Right. Rather than having 56 people that live all across the country that are not moving to that area that don't even know you, rather than just having 56 views, you would have had 5,600 views of people who live in that area. Okay. That's the difference. So I just wanted to kind of reach out and, and kind of just see what, you know, what, what else you got going on so I can maybe answer some questions and maybe kind of just lead you in the right direction as far as capturing leads, you know, of people in your, in your neck of woods. Right. I mean, I don't have anything else going on. Okay. So that's where I can maybe just kind of shed some light and maybe kind of just, just help you. Um, if, if you're even looking, are you looking to even build your business on social media or is it something that I, I am? Okay. So then um, it kind of all starts from this page right here. What I can do is I can simply maybe spend the next few minutes just sharing with you just basic steps, like basic, basic, marketing basic social media branding that i would highly recommend that you implement that you add to your pages because as i've um i've just been helping real estate agents with this for the past for the past four years five years since 2016 but my whole my whole background is marketing it, it's online advertising and that kind of all started in 1999 um but in 2010 is when i became a lender so that's how I know your side of the business very well is because I spent six years from 2010 to 2016 in the mortgage industry. So okay. I, was, I was networking with a ton of realtors. I, I, was closing, I was helping everyone you know, close deals. I was getting everyone's client approved and I was the banker. And I did that again for six years. And in that six year period, I realized that most real estate were not leveraging social media. Like they weren't, they weren't running Facebook ads. They weren't even posting all the time to the right to the right areas. They just were missing the basics. And I knew this as a lender. And so in 2016, I left mortgages to start helping real estate agents with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So that was in 2016. But if you look at my friend list over here, can you see my page? Yeah. Let, let me refresh this. But if you if you look at my friend count right here, 5,000, Every right. single one of them, Charlene, every single one of them, except for one, which is my wife. She's the only one out of 5,000. So that's 4,999 folks on my friend list who are real estate agents. Okay. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because since 2016, I started requesting a bunch of agents. And since 2016, I've literally been seeing what thousands of agents are doing when it comes to marketing their listings, marketing their open houses, and just trying to promote their overall real estate business. I've been seeing it by the thousands. And when you follow thousands of people, not just that have the same interests, but when you follow thousands of people that literally all have the same job, you start to see patterns and you start to see habits and you start to see what everyone's doing. And I'm here to tell you that I've, since then, I've, I've now spoken to thousands of them and 100% of you guys are missing the basics. Every single one of you are coming on a social media and you're posting this open house when no one lives in that area. Your friends over here 
no matter how many friends you have, whether you have a few hundred or you have a few thousand, the facts are with our friend list, 90 plus percent of them live across the country. So if you have, let's just say 300 friends over here and you know every, mm -hmm. what's that? Uh, I'm listening, sorry. It, it, no, no worries. If you have, let's just say 300 friends and you know every single one of them and every single one of them lives in your area, then, then you'll be the one out of a thousand that I've actually met that actually has those numbers. But if you have right. a big friend number over here, if you have a friend big, and this, this applies for every social media platform. This could be LinkedIn, this could be Pinterest, this could be Instagram, this could be Twitter, this could be your business page, this could be your Facebook personal, it doesn't matter. Your friends over here, chances are, a lot, and, and this is if you have thousands. And why would you have thousands of friends over here? Because you're building a business. So you're accepting people, you're requesting people because you're building a business. You're thinking, and we're all thinking that we need thousands of people following us to build this, to build this thing on social media. That's true. But when it comes to your particular business, this open house is in your local area. So in other words, you're a local business owner, but all your friends live across the country. So as I started seeing this stuff, Charlene, what I'm saying is that I started realizing that you guys were missing the basics. Every single agent is coming on a Facebook trying to sell their house when no one lives in that area. I'm in California. I'm seeing this. And, and All right. So what do you suggest? So here's what you have to do. So here's my point. My point is that, it, it, that last year I ended up writing a book about this and, and every agent is looking for that next lead. You're over here posting this open house looking for that next buyer. Everyone is looking for a lead. They're coming on, they're looking for that next buyer or their next, their next seller. It's very black and white. That's all you're looking for. At the end of the day, I need a lead, that's it. And so as I, as I already knew that, and as I started analyzing my friends and analyzing the, the, the market as a whole, I'm like, and, and, then, and then I started looking at everyone's pages and just from a branding perspective, I'm like, man, they're all missing the basics. And that's what I wanted to show you today is, is every agent is looking for a lead, which is what I call step three. I ended up, I, I, as I mentioned, I wrote a book about this. I wrote a book last year and it's called The Social Real Estate Agent, Five Steps to Implement on Social Media to Capture More Leads and Build Your Personal Brand Fast. Five steps. So what I call this right here, making a video of this open house, I call this step three. Every agent is coming on social media trying to accomplish step three, which is capture a lead. But you're missing step one and two. And so that's what I was going to share with you real quick is step one and two, because step one and two is basic. Step one and two will help you with your branding and help you with this lead capture. So here's kind of where you want to start. And, and even though this is your business page, everything starts on this personal page. Like you and I became friends on this personal page. I didn't even right. know you had a business page until you sent me an invite. So yeah. here's what's going on. This intro area, this is step one. This is the first impression. This is what we see when we connect with a new friend. It's this intro section right here. So as I right. a Charlene, and I want to know who she is, right? I can look at pictures. I can, I can see that you're an amazing professional. You're an amazing wife. You're a family woman. I can, I can look at pictures and tell all that. But because you're building a business, there's information that needs to be in this intro section. So okay. for example, here's step one. I come across Charlene's page. And, 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 and the information, it's super important, as I'm kind of mentioning, because the friends that we're connecting with here don't know us like the same way you're on this phone call wondering who i am i'm on this phone call wondering who you are i don't know you either right and that's how that's how it is instagram linkedin right. so so we have to as a professional as a businesswoman that you are there's information you're going to want to put here and so here's what it is so i come across charlene's page and this is what she's showing me works studied married and manages. I come across Candy's page, and this is what she's showing me. A link to her business page, went, lives from, married, and also 
all of her social media links. So remember, I don't know Charlene, I don't know Candy. You guys are both realtors, you're both trying to build a business. I come across her page, she's showing me a little bit more information. Because now that we're in this social media world, it's all about these social media platforms. And it's not all about you having a post every day on them. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for your brand, they need to be, they need to be listed and they need to be active. And if okay. you look closely, which you don't even have to look that close, but if you look closely, every single one of them is identical. Right. So that right there, it just stands out. And, and, and on social media, when I was in the mortgage industry, and I know real estate is like this as well, branding is everything. You're putting your phone number on everything. You're putting your license number on everything, especially offline. Any flyer, any marketing material, your yard sign, anything. You're putting your license number. You're putting your phone number. On social media, it's all about your links. People are going to follow you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. I followed you on Facebook. I messaged you on Facebook. We're now on a phone call on Facebook, and I don't even know your phone number. So it's <laughs> social media links where people are going to follow you first. So if I had come across Charlotte, and if I would have noticed that she was on Instagram because she's showing me her link, guess what? I would have followed her there too because that's where I spend my time. And that's what you want. As people come, with, come, come to you and connect with you on Facebook, how does Charlotte know that David, just because we connected on Facebook, how do you know that I don't spend 57 hours a day on LinkedIn? You don't know that. Had it been listed, I would have followed, I would have clicked on it and I would have followed you there. And guess what? Because, right. LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is where I spend 57 hours a day, guess what? I would have messaged you on LinkedIn and you would have better, you better be hope, you would have, you, you, you better hope you get that message especially if it was regarding your open house. You know what I mean? So having those links listed and, and also you have this, this is what every agent has. And I'm telling you, Charlene, I'm not just picking on you. I'm talking about thousands. Every agent, your intros all look the same. And all I'm saying is that if, if we look at Candy's, right away, she's sending me to her business page. Right away, you're sending me to your broker right. page. Right. So, so not only not only do ninety plus percent of your friends live across the country, not only do ninety percent of your friends will never move in your local area. They're not coming to the open house at all. Ninety percent, but also ninety percent of your friends are not in the business, unless you're because you're with KW. So unless you're actually recruiting, then then I would I would assume that you have. 4,500 friends, and they're all real estate agents in different companies. If you were recruiting with KW, right? Because you, you, you would want to be building relationships with every agent in the country to try to bring them over, right? If you're in a KW, right. if you're in an EXP, if you're an actual recruiter, then, then hundreds of these people are realtors. But if you're not recruiting, your friends consist of average people. And the average person who is not a lender, who is not a title rep, who is not an escrow officer, the average friend that you have over here who is not in the business has no idea that this is not your business page. So God only knows how many of your friends actually clicked on it just because they want to support you. They want to support you. They want to follow you. They want to like your business page. They liked your business page because you had it listed. Little do they know that's not your business page. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're just driving too much traffic to the, to the, wrong, to the wrong link. So all you want to do is, is instead of manages, instead of down here, park this link at the top. And then, and then right. get Keller Williams. No one cares about Keller Williams. We don't need to be liking their page at all. No one cares. Right. It, it, and so replace it with your link and then also add your social media other links. And then whatever I'm, assuming whatever, you, I'm assuming that's a thing in there to do. Oh yeah, of course. It's right there on campus. Okay. Yeah, for okay. sure. For sure. All you, but, but what you have to do and what you're going to want to do is log in to Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and you're going to want to get the .com as well. But when you log into each platform, you're going to just simply customize the name to the one name that you're branding. So if it's Charlene Properties, create that same one. You did it with Facebook. 
So here's what I'm referring to. This is the username. You right. customize this part. So Instagram.com forward slash Charlotte Properties, Twitter.com forward slash Charlotte Properties. And all you're going to do is grab the username and, and come over here to the about section and put it in right, right over there. Right. That's step one. I just think it looks better. When I come to your page for the first time, you're showing me more information. And what exactly is more information? Links to your other social media platforms. Right. That's it. And so that's step one. And when you add them all here on the intro, so again, they're all added right here on intro. Once we add them all for the, for the social media platforms, then what you want to do is also get the .com. So, so charlinproperties.com, you should have that name. Do you have that name? No, I'm not going to use that name because I'm not registering another .com. It only costs a <laughs> dollar. If, if this and is the one, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. This one, that's the one that you're pointing to. Okay. So then create all your platforms around that one right there. Right. That's what I would do. Instagram.com forward slash best homes SC. And, and that, that username should be, should be this over here. Okay. So no Charlotte properties, change everything to best homes SC. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And then, so once you list everything on the, on your personal page, all the, all the links and your .com, you list that over here on the personal page and let's see if you have it. Yeah. You don't even have it listed at all. So once you have them listed over here, then you're going to bring them to the about section and list everything over here. So you have the .com, what you're going to see over here under more info so if I come to Candy's page, I click about and I come over here under more info. This is what I see. So there's her okay. .com matching all of her platforms. Right. Everything is, everything is one name. Because okay. again, on social media, everyone has such a short attention span. If you don't grab my attention fast, I'm gone. And, and right. you're the same way. You know, so, so with over a million realtors on Facebook, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I've been, I haven't followed a million of them, but there are 1 million, over 1 million on Facebook alone, not even to mention LinkedIn, but just Facebook alone, I follow thousands. And I'm just saying this basic step, this is what I call step one. I see right. missing their branding all over Facebook and, and that's step one. So here's step two, step two. Once you list everything over there on the, on the, on, in the about section, here's what you want to do next. Mm -hmm. Here's what you want to do next. And as I'm telling you, again, this is a public list. So you can go look at my friend list, every single one of them. You can look right. at all of them. When you're following thousands of people like that, Charlene, you start to get notifications. At least I do, right? At least I do because I have, you know, 5,000 friends. Here, here are my notifications. And just like you, if I click like, if I comment, if I share right. anything, you get a notification again, because okay. I have 5,000 here are my notifications. This is step two. Let me refresh this. Here's here's step two. And here are my notifications. Page invited you. Lacrima invited you, Angela, Claudia, Kathleen. I can go on for days. Every right. single agent in the country clicks invite to get people on their personal page to like their business page. And whenever I go to anyone's business page, like 700 is the most I'll ever see. If I click on anyone else's, let's click on, click on Tanya. If I cl click on anyone else's, 500, but 99% have around 100 to 200. 99%. 1% mm -hmm. will have 500 to 700. But 99% look like yours. 100 to 200 right. likes. This is step. Yeah, well, two. I won't. I won't let everybody come on either on my personal page. So I need to figure out how to get them to my business page. Well, here's the thing: these folks over here. I'm trying to tell you, unless you're the mayor right. of your local area, your these friends over here are, are people all over the country, like me. Right. So you're inviting people like me to like the business page, to see the same open house video that you had over here, but I'm in California and no one cares. That's right. why when you're posting over here, no one's liking it because no one cares. And it's not that we don't care disrespectfully, 
We just don't care because we're not in the area. Right. And so that's what everyone's doing. So as you start to see pages that have 500 likes, like the other one or 700, like Tanya or whatever, 500, she's been clicking invite. If you've clicked invite and got to 100, she's been clicking invite to get to 500 for much longer. And 99% of the 526 live across the country. They're never moving to her area. They don't know her and they don't care about anything she's posting. Look, no one's liking it. Right, I'm with you. So, so, so here's the deal. Here's step two. Here's step two. This right here, just like when I land on your personal page, this intro right. is the first impression. When I right. land on the business page, this like count is the first impression. So okay. rather than clicking invite, like every agent in the country is doing, what you're going to want to do right. is a simple Facebook ad and take that 128 to 1200. Because when I land here, that's the first impression. So for example, I showed you Candy's personal page. If we click on this link, it takes us to her business page. Now keep in mind, I don't know Charlene. I don't know Candy. I come across Charlene's, I see 128 right away. I come across Candy's, and this is what I see right away. Right. That's the difference. Now how do you get the people in your area though? You cannot run a like ad, nor do you need to, because here's the deal anyways. The reason why no one's liking, even at a higher number, 526, the reason why no one's liking her post is because Facebook only shows it to 1% of the like count. So when you post, it's not like 500 people are seeing it. And even if they were, they all live, they all live across the country. So right. Facebook is only showing it to 1% of that like count anyways. So that's not where your leads are coming from. You don't need thousands of people to like your page that live in your local area. It's not going to happen. It's not ever going to happen. Not even if you run an ad. It's not a like ad is what I'm referring to. A Facebook right. ad. Even if you ran it to your local area, you would spend an arm and a leg trying to get people to like that page, which is not what you want to do. That's not what you're going to want to do. This is one simple step. This is step two. What, you, what you're going to have to do is run a like ad to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of real estate and home ownership. That's the only way you could take that number up at a decent budget. And so, right. and so that is going to happen with a like ad. Now, again, that's not where leads are coming from, but here's the deal. When you take that number to 1,200, now you have people's attention. Now they land here, they see 1,200, and they're blown away. Right. Wow. Okay. She must be, she must be a top producer because, because what everyone else is used to seeing is everyone at a hundred likes. You want to 10 X your number, 10 X that number. And it's going to happen with a Facebook ad. That's step three. So, so that's why on my page, like if you come to, if you come to my, my page, here's my page, here's my personal page. Here's step one. There are all of my links and you come over here to my right. business page. And because Charlene doesn't know David either, you're going to want to do some due diligence. You're going to maybe click on my link. And guess what? When Charlene clicks on my link and she comes over here to my business page and she scrolls down and she sees 10,000 people like the page. Right. Now, my leads aren't coming from there because that was a simple like ad. It wasn't a lead ad. My leads aren't coming from there. But guess what? When Charlene looks at that number, I went on the back end. Because Charlene is going to look at that number and say, damn, okay, maybe he does know something. <laughs> because how in the heck are 10,000 people following him, right? That's the, first, right? that's the first impression. That's the perception. That's at least what you think. Right. And you want the same thing for your page. And so this is step two, taking that number up. Um, man, I think my computer just froze. Let me see if I can click. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. So weird. You still there? Oh, there, there we go. I'm so sorry. Clicking too okay. fast. Okay. So that was step two. And the only reason why right. I need that number bigger, Charlene, the only reason why I need that, that number bigger is because when I go on to step three, 
And here's step three. Step three is when you start running these videos directly to your local area. That's step okay. three. Now I talk to many, many agents where they tell me, yeah, David, I boosted a post. I ran it for three days, turned it off. And that was back in January. Yeah, David, I ran a post. I ran it for four days at $3 a day. I spent 12 bucks. And I'm like, man, you guys are selling real estate. Like you guys are making several thousand per deal, but you're afraid to spend a few bucks on advertising. That's what I okay. yet to understand. So the whole strategy in step number three is rather than Mickey Mouse in it and just putting these videos up for random people to see, we need to run these directly to that local area and you want to run one every week. So right here, okay. these four videos, I would run one, seven days, the next one, seven days, the next one, seven days, the next one, seven days, and run it directly to your backyard. And before you know it, that whole town is going to know who you are. Yeah, but how do you how do you do that? Running directly a simple, to my area through a Facebook ad, through a simple Facebook ad. When you come to your page, when you come to your your page, whether it's your business page or your personal page, it doesn't matter. You come over here, you right. click on create, and you come down here. And you want to do this from a computer, not from your cell phone. You do it from yes. a computer. You click yes. on add, right? And that takes you straight to the ads manager. Okay. Back here is where you run the ad and, and what you're going to, since you're doing video, this is the best type of marketing, Charlotte. The fact that you're doing selfie style videos right here, I'm telling you, hear me loud and clear when I'm telling you this, I'm telling you, I spoke to thousands of you guys. The fact that you're doing this, the fact that you're, that you have the, I mean, a, a man to another man would say you have the balls, right? But I don't know what I would say to him. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. The fact that you have the, right. or the fact that you're not, the fact that you're fearless, the fact that you have, that, that, that you're brave enough to, to put yourself out there on camera. Hear me loud and clear when I tell you this. You're in the 1%. 99% of your colleagues, 99% of every real estate agent in this country fears the camera. So the fact that you're, and, and, that, and how do I know that? Because I've spoken to thousands of you guys all on this exact topic, all on this exact topic. So the fact that you're putting videos out like this, you're already ahead of 99% of everyone. All you need to do now is start targeting it. It's start running it directly in your backyard. Those are the only folks that care. Although you could help anyone, Charlene, I get it. If my wife and I, I'm out here in California, you're out there licensed in South Carolina. If I wanted to, if I wanted, if my wife and I wanted to move to Let's say we're out here in California. Let's say we want to move to Florida and I'm your friend and I reach out to you and I say, Charlene, I know you're doing real estate. I know you're doing very well. Can you help my wife and I? We're about to move to Florida. You would say, David, I'm not even licensed out there. And, and, you would tell, and I would tell you, Charlene, make it happen. Broker the deal. Make it happen. I'm only going through you. you I wouldn't tell you. I, wouldn't license. I, I would tell you uh, I would refer you. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not right. your ideal client. That's my point is that real estate agents are over here posting for everyone around the country to see when that's not even your ideal client. Your ideal client lives in your backyard. Right. So the only people, the heck with social media, forget social media. The only people that need to be seeing your social media post are people that live in that area. And the only way that we can get to them is running a Facebook ad. That okay. is, that is so, the only way. So how long would you run the ad for? I would run one video for seven days, turn it off. Another video for seven days, turn it off. Another video for seven days, turn it off and just, and just rinse and repeat. And you're going to run one. But here's the magic. Here's the secret. As I told you, as I mentioned, I speak to agents where they tell me, yeah, David, I ran one and that was back in January. No wonder you're not right. capturing leads. The magic and the strategy is when you can run one as if it was your religion. You're running one okay. every week and you're not missing a beat. That's the strategy. And I'm telling you right now, Charlene, the cost, I would spend more taking you out to lunch today. You and I, if we just went out and had some burgers for lunch, I would spend more on lunch than I would spend the entire week running a Facebook video ad targeting my local area. I'd spend more at lunch. So. We're not talking. What, you, what do you think the sin should be? The what? 
to spend, you know, per day. Well, if you do the math, if we just look at, let's just say five bucks a day, seven days, there's 35 bucks a week. Okay. I'll spend okay. that on lunch today. Okay. Well, I won't because I eat at home, but yeah. But you know what I mean, <laughs> right? I do. I do. I'm just and, messing. And, 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 and that, that right there is what you want to start doing. And, 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 and here's, the, here's the, real, the real, real, real strategy behind it as well. You want to pick one topic, pick one product. You're either going to be focused around, you're going to either focus your video content around buyers or you're going to focus it around sellers. That's just my recommendation. That's my opinion. That's my professional opinion. When it comes right. to the Facebook ad. So if I'm going to run one ad per week for seven days and I'm going to target my local area, I'm going to keep it on top right. and I'm going to focus just on buyers. Or I'm going to focus. Always just, just focus on buyers. Or sellers, whatever. Or you know, whichever one. Okay. So you can't do them. You're suggesting to not do a mixture of I'm going to target buyers one week and then sellers the next week. I would go, I'd go a couple months. I'd run one video every week okay. and I would stay on the same topic. Okay. Because that, that allows you to, to attract a specific type of audience that all live in your area. Okay. And it allows you to really create this content around one topic selling like there's so many different things that you could talk about on selling hey guys right. um, i just wanted to come on camera today this is charlene i wanted to share with you the top seven tips to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell i know there's a lot of folks out here in 2020 that are looking to sell the market is hot i want to just give you a couple of tips that will really increase the price should you go out there and sell okay and, and you go on a three to four minute rant about curb appeal updating the bathroom Remodeling the kitchen, all this stuff you already know. Okay. And you're just breaking it down into, into several videos throughout the month. One video, three minutes, second video next okay. week, three minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's, that's where your lead is at. Your lead is from this video, not from the likes. But again, right. why, did I, why did I need to take that like count up? Why, did I need to, why do I care about that like number? Because as I come on a step three and these folks start seeing my video in their newsfeed, they're not Facebook friends with me. They don't like my business page. They don't even know me. They're seeing my video for the first time in their newsfeed. Like this is right. what that looks like. What if like, like you've seen ads, like if you're just scrolling through the newsfeed and you're right. just, whether it's on a computer or whether it's on your cell phone, this middle right. section is where all the attention is at. As I'm scrolling through the newsfeed, Scrolling, 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 scrolling. And let's see if I come across. That's uh, weird. What's that? <laughs> why, why is she picturing her leg? <laughs> oh, that's weird, huh? Let's, and this is a real estate agent. This is a real estate agent. I don't know. You guys tell me. I'm seeing what everyone's posting, and every single one is an agent. Crazy, right? So if I scroll through and I'm looking for an ad, Let's, right. see, let's see an ad. Let's see if I can find an actual sponsored ad. Here it is right here. Actually, that okay. one's a different one. Let's, let's see if I can find. Ew. had <laughs> a pair of panties on his back. Here's a video ad. This could easily, okay. now I don't know who this is, Kingston Lane, but this could easily be a real estate agent giving me tips on selling. It's a right. video. It's a video. It's shot from maybe his bedroom for all we know. That's simple, right? There's two right. places I can click on on an ad. I can either click on learn more or I right. can click on his business page. Right. And when I click on the business page and I come over to the business page and I see 834 likes. Right. Even at 800, I'm still not impressed. So if you're at 100, if you're at 200, if you're at 300 likes, the reason why that number has to be so important is because the people who are seeing my ad live in my local area, and I need them to know that I'm the shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. I need them to know that, that you're the queen of real estate. And that, that's only going to happen when they come here, and that's that first impression. That number sticks out like a sore thumb. It's the first thing I see when I land here. Well, it looks right? better than mine. What's that? That's a poor guy from Slack. 
Yeah, I know, right? I know. I, I'm trying to, but even at 800, I mean, I'm still not impressed. But but at the same time, yours by running running a simple Facebook ad, you would take yours to 1200 in a couple of days. Right? So, so and and so that's step 2. And again, step 3. That's 3. Step 3, right? Step 3 so is the video. The Facebook, yeah. Yeah, the video. Yeah, yeah, step three is the videos by running one every week to your area. Now, here's step four and five, and then that's all I got for you. Let me go back to um, let me go back to an actual ad. So let's look at let's okay. look at an ad really really quick. Here's step four and step five. Okay, here's the deal. Berkshire Hathaway. When you align with an elite brokerage, so they're they're marketing to other real estate agents. I don't know why I'm seeing this, but whatever. Here's an yeah. ad. Here's the text. Here's the image. Here's the learn more button. Right. This is what goes on with an ad. Facebook gives you this button, this learn more button. Here's right. four. So if you're promoting, let's see, pick one, buyers or sellers. Which one are you? Or, or buyers. okay, buyers. Okay, so let's go back to this one right here. Okay, so let's say, for example, this was, or you know what? Let's actually, let's actually use yours as a real example, okay. it's the same thing. This would be the ad. You have the text, it says open house. You, right. have the text, you have the video. And then if it was an actual ad, this down here where it says share, it would say learn right. more. Right, right. Right, this is step four. Step three is the video ad, that's step three. But now step four is when we click on learn more. Okay, that's step four. When I click on learn more, another thing that every agent does is they'll send me to their website where there's a million things going on. So for example, right. if I go to your website, if you're running that, if you're running an ad and taking me to this website right here, right? There's a million things going on. Now, now, right. now, maybe they might do the property search, or maybe they might just keep reading what the heck is that over here. Maybe all of a sudden they're going right. to click on this one. There's a million things going on. And then when I click on that one, nothing even happens. So I'm telling you, most agents are running ads to something like that. Here's what you want to okay. do. Don't take me there. Do not run a Facebook ad. Have me click on learn more and I go there. Don't do that. Here's okay. what you're going to want to do. So again, here's the ad. We're promoting this listing. We're promoting this open house. I click on learn more and I am taken straight to a page like this. Get instant okay. access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points. Show me all 17 photos. Now, that's how you capture the lead. Step okay. four is a landing page. You're taking that click to one page where you can capture the lead. Okay. That's it. That's step four. Once I capture that lead and that person clicks the blue button, that's now step five. Now I have that lead. Now I have that email. Step five is where that email now has to be in some type of email autoresponder. So for example, this person is going to opt in. They want to see the listing. They want to see the photos. They want more specs on the property. You're promoting an open house. You're promoting a listing. This person lives three miles away from you. They click on the blue button and instantly they receive an email. That email is going to have all the details of the property. And, and, and that email is going to go out automated without Charlene lifting a finger because that's step five. Right. Step five is your email automation. That person gets the email. Now they have a list of everything. Now they know about the property. Tomorrow, they're going to get another email. Hey, John, this is Charlene. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you inquired regarding 777 Plaza Boulevard. Just want to let you know the property is still on the market. It's a beautiful three-bedroom, two-bath. Hey, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time for a showing. I cannot wait, for, wait to speak to you, John. Talk to you soon. And that was an well, I guess I don't have a click on the calendar deal. Yeah, that, that's, that's all step five. So step five is, is your email automation. And in that email, there's a link to your calendar. That's marketing on social media in 2020, Charlene. It all starts with getting these, list, these links listed. That's step one. 
Step two, taking that like count up. So people take right. you seriously. Step three, start running Facebook ads of these videos directly to that backyard. Step four, when they click on learn more, you're taking them to one single page to capture the lead. Step five, once I have that lead, I need to nurture So you're lead. saying I need to customize my website to have that. So on the learn more, so when I'm creating that um, ad on the step four, when to the whole learn more thing mm -hmm. is do I copy and paste in that link for that learn more? Is there an option for that? Oh yeah. This is the link. Okay. So whatever right, the right, link right. Is I'm just making page. sure. Oh yeah, for sure. So I need to so I need to make that landing page then. Yes, there's different landing page softwares out there. Most of them run about a hundred bucks a month. Um this one that well, I if you already have a website and you want to add a, a page, you can do that, right? I mean, I, I, I guess I don't know. I don't know your software. I don't know. Well, your heck, you should know. <laughs> no, every, every web page is different. Like, like this is I th well, I think the one that I have, I can add pages. Yeah. If you're with Keller Williams, okay. yeah, you're with Keller Williams. Keller Williams has landing pages. E yes but I'm not utilizing the Keller Williams page and I'll, and I'll tell you why, because they're redoing their software, yeah. which is awesome, yeah. but not so awesome for us because not everything's up and running. Okay. So I'm still uh, using, see, this is through a different company who you're clicked on Okay. that I'm using. Yeah. So then, so then this company, yeah, all this stuff is, this is a website. That's fine. But I'm here to tell you, no one cares about your website. Like right. no one, no one, no one does. And, and, and on top of it all, your Facebook, Facebook isn't even tracking who's landing here, which is another big deal. Like, like you need to reach out to these folks and say, Hey, can I add my pixel? Can I add my Facebook pixel to this page? Ask okay. them, email them and simply ask them if you can add your Facebook pixel P I X E L ask them if they can add your Facebook pixel to this page. And, and again, the reason for that is so Facebook can start tracking who lands here. Right. And I want to know does it give you that information? I'm Facebook, assuming Facebook does. Yeah. Now they're not going to yeah, give okay. you a name and phone number. It's not a lead. They're not going to give you that, but they're going to start categorizing. Right, right. They'll start categorizing. They'll start grouping. It's what they call a, a custom audience. So Facebook will start okay. grouping all these folks who land on this page. And why, why would that even be necessary or why, that, why is that even needed or important? Because if right. I can track everyone who landed here and I can group them all into all, – all in, and I put them all into a bucket and I can run an ad to those people tomorrow, that could be powerful. These are folks right. who landed on my page before. They landed here two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a month ago. They landed a couple months ago. They landed on my page. They're somewhat familiar with my name. I want to be able to know who those, I want to be able to know that group and I want to be able to market to them in the future. Because that's advertising. And that's why with your videos, what you want to start doing is running one every week because that's branding. Once your local area starts to see videos from you, it's not going to happen on the first video. Once they, right. have, once they start seeing four or five, six videos and you're targeting a local area, I'm assuming that you're in a, in a smaller town. You're not in a busy city, are you? Or are you in a smaller town? Where are you at? I'm in a busy place. Okay. So then you're going to need a few videos and that's why every week, because every week you're talking about a new topic. You're talking about selling, but you're, but you're, but now right. it's a different, it's a different episode. Okay. And so every week you're bringing value. Every week you're educating. Every week your content is not just a video on, hey, call me. I'll sell your house tonight. No, <laughs> that's not the video. The video is educational based. Teach me something. Teach me what it takes to sell. Teach me what's the difference between hiring you versus trying to sell my, my thing on my own for sell by owner. Give me four minutes on video what the difference is. What's the difference between hiring an agent and trying to list for sale by owner? That's a video right there. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so there's so many yeah. different things you could talk about in, in short video form. And again, rather than just putting them up, run them to your backyard. Run okay. them to your backyard. 
So I have an entire training course on all that when you're ready. Like I can literally cut your current, your learning curve in, in, in half um, by just simply teaching you these, these five basic steps. But right now, here's what I highly recommend you do first. Number one, and, and that's a ton of information, so I don't expect you to do all five steps right now at all. Right now, where you want to start is just step one, get all those links listed, and then step two, run that simple Facebook ad. And if you right. have ran ads in the past before? Um, they had us do one, but it was through uh, Keller Williams Command, you know, their site, and okay. they track it, you know, how, how it does. And, you know, it's already Facebook approved type stuff. Am I making sense? Like yeah. I don't have to worry about the settings, but you're saying run it directly from Facebook. Yeah, you want to run it from Facebook. You want to run it from Facebook. Okay. Click on create, click add. But if you right. ran that ad, it's going to cost you, it's probably going to cost you way more than you need to spend. Um, what what I always propose is that I can, I can easily do that for you. I mean, I can easily help you. I mean, what I always propose is that if, if that like ad is something we can run, you just simply pay for the budget. You pay for the ad. I can run it for you and you just give me a good review. That's kind of what I always propose. Um, and if anything, I can even do step one. I can list all those links for you if you need me to. So, well, I think I can do that. That would be easy enough. Yeah. The links, you can easily do the links, but the ad, you may not be able to run that. Um, I haven't come across one agent yet that, that knows how to run that ad. So all well, why I would, wouldn't they know how to run it? Because they think they can run it to their local area because that's what you're thinking. Everyone's thinking the same thing. They're thinking that, okay, I do business in San Diego. Let me get 15,000 people to like my page in San Diego. And that's not going to happen. Right. You said they're going to be from everywhere, but not to worry about that because you're worried about the number. Yeah. So you got to know how to target everywhere and not, not everyone knows how to target everywhere. Like this is, let me show you what it is. Well, that actual, would be called illegal in the state of South Carolina. What? <laughs> Real estate. You can't target. You can't target so what? Like you, you, you can't target, period. You can't target a neighborhood. You have to do within the so many mile radius. Oh, yeah, 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 and, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, all that's why, stuff, yeah. yeah, for sure. And that's why on, when you run that like ad, you target everyone. You don't, you don't discriminate anyone. Right. That's, that's why, that, that's why, and that's how you're able to get thousands of likes fast for not, for, for, for not that much. Like it just depends on your budget. Like it, it all depends on your budget, but here, here's candy. So here, here's candies. Let me show you um, her business page again. Let me show you her actual like ad. Cause I have this ad live right now. Cause she said, David, right. said, I'll pay for it. You just do it for me and I'll give you a good review. And that's what I propose. That's all I propose. And so this is her ad in real time. Let me show you. Where did it go? Okay, so as, as people are just scrolling through, this is a live snapshot. This is my friend right here, Sabrina and Sarah. As I'm scrolling through, scrolling through, all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Let me unlike right. it so you know what it looks like. That right there is a sponsored ad. Love real estate, like, page, and share. And Facebook provides the image. I wrote out the text and there's the call to action. So in the other ads, it would say learn more. On this one, it says like page. Right. All someone does is click like, and they like the page. They don't even necessarily have to click on the link and come to the page to like it because they already liked it over there. I see. So that like ad, you, you, I don't know. Yeah, you could you could definitely try. You're just you'll you'll be messaging me in a few days saying, David, I just spent fourteen bucks and got two likes. So, <laughs> I, I I I I mean. And so for my past- So how can you start targeting your area? And because it would be nice, you know, obviously to have the area I live in, the people, you know, liking that ad. No, you, no, no, you don't need, no, the likes don't need to come from your area because that's not where, that's not where leads are coming from. Leads are coming from right. step three. When you start running those videos, Run the videos. click okay. on learn more. Right. And then you bring them to a page where they opt in. That's where your right. leads are coming from. Because even if you had 700 likes from people who live in your local area and you spent 500 bucks to get those 700 likes, 
that wasn't worth it because at the end of the day, Facebook's only shown it to 1% of the 700 anyways. Right. So not where my leads are coming from. It's coming when I start running lead capture ads, not like ads. It's when I start doing step three and running video lead capture ads to get people to this page. Right. Or if you're focused on buyers, you're taking them to a page like this. Welcome to the whatever city you're in, homes under 350. Send me the list. This is for people in your local area who are looking for inventory. They're looking for properties. They look, they're looking to buy. Send me the list of what you got. Well, heck, I would be more interested in you making my pages than I would be doing the ad at this current moment because I'm like, man, that's going to take me some time. Oh, it's going to take you time and a ton of money. But, but again, step three, running those videos, that's not what I really want to do right now. Only because, only because I'm assuming, I go, I go into every call assuming that the budget is not all there. When you start running video ads directly to your local area, you need a daily budget. And so if that budget right. is, isn't quite there, here's what I always say. Let's do step one and let's do step two first. Once you go close your next deal, then we could focus on step three, step four, which is the pages, and step five, right. which, are, which, are, which is the email automation. That's later. That's when we actually have a budget. Go close your next deal. Three, four, and five is next. But right now, it's just step one and two. I, if I were you, I'd put your next dollar into getting that light count up. Bottom line. All right. So it just comes down to your budget. What, what's your budget? And I can kind of tell you how many likes you can expect from it. Well, I mean, I think, um, I think I would prefer to stick with about $20 a week. Okay. For step three. Well, yes. Yeah, but you're three. saying, yeah. Yeah. yeah so are you talking fine. about step two? Step two. You want to take, because if we go straight into step three right now and we start, okay, we so, start doing. So I thought you asked me about step three. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no worries at all. But yeah, even if you did well, 20 bucks a day, that's 80 bucks a month. It, that's fine. Right. Whatever. That's step three, whatever. But I'm just saying when those folks start For seeing your two. ad and they come here and see that low like number, that's what's going to hurt you. Right. That's, that's, so that's why this is step two. You're asking me what's my budget for step two? Yes. Well, I don't know because I don't know how long I need to run this. And I really don't know the cost on it. If it's the same, you know, thing of X amount of dollars a day. I mean, what's your suggestion to get the light count up over a thousand? Well, to get it to a thousand, and in this case, it, it would take it to 1100. So if we went up another, another 1000, it'd be about 25. How do you know it's going to go to 1100? Because I've been doing this since 2016 and I've ran this, like if you come over here and that's why not only is the like number, let me go back to the likes. Not only is the like number, what people are looking at. Okay. Right. So let, let's go over here real quick. Let me refresh my business page. Number one that you're going to want to do is yeah. Take the like number up because that's one thing people look at is number is, okay. number, is, 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 is the slight count. The second thing people are going to just automatically look out, look at are the reviews. Right. So my last 47. So to answer your question, the last 47, these are all real estate agents that I did this ad for. These are all real estate. Right. Agents. And so I've been running this ad since 2016. It wasn't until my last 47. I said, you know what? I'll do it for you. Just give me a review. Right. And I, because my whole intent, my whole, just to be transparent with you, just, so, just so you can know why I'm even doing it for just a damn review, because my ultimate goal is to get you back for step three. I want to be running those weekly ads for you because I already know you're not going to know how to do it. I want to take them to a landing page because I already know you're not going to know how to create one. I want to set up the email automation. Come on now. You're, you're underestimating me. Come on no, now. I'm underestimating everyone. I already, I already know. <laughs> I'm already, and it has nothing to do with you. When, again, well, what you mean is that's not going to be my primary job unless I made it my primary job. Exactly. Like you could for yeah. sure do it all if it was your first full-time gig. Right. You know what I mean? But you're, I yeah. want you focusing on closing escrows. Like I don't need you messing around with no landing page. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's long term. Yeah. That's my ultimate goal. That's long term. Right now, these last 47 reviews came from just step one and two. All I want to do right now is is let's knock out step one. Let's knock out step two and then and then go from there whenever you're ready. 
But I'm here to tell you right now, not everyone gets ready for step three because not everyone's willing to put themselves out on video or not everyone's willing to, willing to go out there and spend a few bucks. Right. And I'm, I'm just here to tell you in 2020, whether we go forward with anything, whether we do business together or not, it does not matter. I'm here to tell you right now, if you're not running Facebook ads to your local area, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Right. You're a local business owner. We need the attention of our local area. I'm not a nationwide realtor. Right. No, the heck with social media. You know, you could post on social media and go ahead and be social. Go ahead. But your real ROI is when you start running those directly to your local area. And, and, and when it comes to marketing, there's absolutely nothing as cost effective as a Facebook video ad to get the attention of people in my area. There's nothing you can do offline. There's nothing you can do offline for 20 bucks a week, 80 bucks a month. You can't even print flyers nowadays for 80 bucks. Right. You for sure can't buy no list. You're not buying leads off of Zillow at all at that price. And you're not door knocking either, unless you are door knocking. So there's just nothing you can do offline to get that attention. And, and, and there's right. nothing as powerful as seeing Charlene in an actual video. Like your only other alternative is to take that same video and run it on the new, run it on a TV commercial, which that ain't going to happen. <laughs> Yeah. So this is our chance to run a commercial to our local area for pennies. And I, again, I'm still trying to figure out why most agents are afraid to spend some money when they're making thousands per deal. Well, I, I'm, you're talking I, to a relatively new agent who's not making nada. So, you know. Yeah, but. of course you got those. And, and that's why you being a new agent, I'm glad I'm giving you this crash course now. Because I don't want to speak to you in seven years when you're still spinning your, spinning your wheels on social media, wondering why nothing's happening. I just gave you a crash course for a new agent for sure. Right. So if you put, if you so put, what would be the difference of me putting together the like ad versus you putting it together? Let's see. Try. Yeah. No, you just try to be an ass now. You, no. you, you're not giving away the secret part. You're just saying do it. So, okay. Okay. All right. No, it's all, it's but all in the, saying, it's all in the targeting. But, it's all in how the ad is set yeah. up. It's really just the demographics and the targeting. Right. And you get there, there are the key words because Keller Williams give you, gives you that too. And like see, that's said, the thing. real estate, home ownership, whatever. Yeah. But, but that's my point. You, you're, you guys right. go out there and put in a bunch of key words when that's not even necessary. Well, how come it doesn't help? I don't put in a bunch, by the way. I put in five. Yeah, that's fine. You can put in whatever you want. But again, everyone has a different way of running it. That's my point. You're, you're thinking of one okay. way. I, I'm already knowing of one way. So to answer your question and further, I've just been running this exact ad since 2016 for real estate agents. That's how and I know works. these exact numbers. Okay. So, well, then run the ad. What's our budget? That I don't want... I don't know. I told you what I, I said to get the 1100 likes. What is the budget? If you, what you mentioned earlier, 20, if you went to, if you, if you put that like ad at 25 bucks a week for four weeks. So if you put a hundred bucks towards that like ad, that number would okay. be at 1100. All right. Well, let's do it. Okay. Just give me the card. What card can I post it with? I just well, need to be some. Hold on. Or I, Amex. Well, hold on. Hold on. I got to get my. Uh... No, take your time. <laughs> I, my purse isn't in here. I'm in my altar. I didn't bring it in. All right. And I know my boots sound very loud. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. If I'm talking to anybody on the phone, I make sure that I don't walk around. I always try to stand when I'm on the phone. Oh, I'm the same way. I got it. I have to stand up. Let's see. All right, so we're saying, hold on, hold on. I did not, this one. All right, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, five, four, 